So let's just discuss a bit more about components so that we can understand it better and how we can use this in different place in our application. So let's remove these links from here and use our component to display them here. So I will open the component that the HTML here, the app component, as you can see, this is the starting point here. I will remove the UL and L, LI tags here. So if I go to the home component, as you can see, all you need to do is first open the component that T is here. For now, I will open it. And as you can see, the selector is app home. As I said, if this is an HTML tag, like you, you create an HTML tag or HTML element with uh, your component here. You can come here and just write it. I will just press tab to close this one. For you, if you are using the, uh, again, Visual Studio Code, just press Control space, it will give you the intelligence and it will open and close the tag for you. For now, what is inside our home component? If I come here, as you know, this is our home component. Here is the HTML and here is the CSS. Here is the constructor and all the logics will be here. For now, we don't have any logic. If I go to the HTML, it is only a, uh, a P tag with home work like that. When you generate, it will by default just put home here as a variable and then work here. Any component will be like that. In the same way, if you go to the about, we have the about work here and the component name is going to be app slash about so we have used the home here if i come and refresh our page as you can see don't need to refresh the page it will disappear um, display here in the same way you can use your app hyphen about and then tap it should uh, press enter it should just complete your tag here if i come here as you can see it will load and because it will compile your file about here for now we have two pages it should not be displaying here the other things that you should know is that how you can use the component for now we have the pages the thing you should know is that as i said component are the uh, each block of code you can use them in your uh, in the way i use now like you can separate your pages you can separate your sidebar the footer the header and all of those things we have separated the pages uh, to you display separate pages you can use the angular routing system we will discuss them in a separate video for now all you need to know is how you can use them here how you can use the component here for now it is how we are going to use this so this is very basic just we just just wrote one line of code and it is displaying everything we need here of course for the pages we are not going to use but for elements we can for example our uh, our application have elements so let's create another folder here so that would be a lot cleaner for the element elements are not pages elements are like navigation like sidebar like footer um, like button and all of those things so inside the element we will create one single component here so we'll give them a nav bar or navigation or anything you can call it I will just give it a navbar name and it will create a navigation for me inside that one um, there will be nothing as you can see empty navbar work for now I will just write ul I don't know sometime why it just stop here cannot load uh, the proper tag all I need to do is to write it my, by my own and close it so inside this one we have our li and inside this one we have our a for now we are using just a link here but in the future videos we will learn about routing with angular so for now it will go to the home page for example it will be the about and we have contact we have no style here is the navbar now if i come here we have nothing so let's display the navbar here as you know it is very easy just you know what is our variable name here app navbar so if it, it is the name here so you can come to the app component here uh, above everything else as you can see here you can just write your app hyphen navbar save it if i come 
and it should display our navigation here always remember to open the inspect element or developer tool if you have any error because later uh, the the angular team uh, they uh, they will give you a very nice uh, error uh, uh, description if your uh, application has any error so here is how you display the navigation here for now it has no style of course you can come to the style page you can just select the ul li just give it a basic styling of display of inline block and it should display this as inline block and you can just give them ul lia a little bit padding of 15 pixel from all around for now it should be just fine but in the future of course we can use the twitter bootstrap you can install them the way you want so this is how the component work as you can see now as you can see this is a component a single component in uh, angular 6 you can use the component in your uh, outside your angular application that is also a new feature which we will discuss you can create a very nice component and use them in uh, in any application that there is no angular that is very cool feature of angular 6 and uh, that's it for the component i think just one thing you should remember if you want to learn it just stop the video and go and create some of the component just play around read all the files these are not something that you do not understand it, these are very basic thing just a simple javascript code here there is nothing fancy these are the basic javascript code the html the css just play around create an application uh, work uh, mm, uh, and the things that you do not understand search around and then continue if you just watch the video and do not work there is no value on that you should work uh, beside the video you watch a video you should work one hour or more than that on the things you have learned on the five minutes of a video that is how you can learn that is at least the way i i learn the things of course i self study these things that's why this is the recommendation i can give you if you want to learn thing just practice practice and practice so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching